Hi everybody, I'm Rebecca with Rebecca'sRoadMap.com and I was tagged in the Planner Babe 2019 tag by Johanna and I will link Johanna's video down below. It's really fun so you need to watch it. Um, let's see, and this tag was originated by Crystal Clear Ideas and Southern Tea Time and I'll link their channels down below also. So basically it's a list of questions so you can get to know a little bit more about me and just so you know it's like I don't know 5 30 on Thursday afternoon <laughs> yeah this is me after work this is what I look like we have a little bit of daylight going on <laughs> so hopefully this isn't too bad you can my video is not too terribly dark so here we go with the questions uh, the first one what bag do you carry your planner in well most of my planners live on my desk the only planner that goes anywhere with me is my mini happy planner and I actually carry a tote bag to work with like my laptop and my mini happy planner and a notebook and stuff like that in it. How many planners do you actually use at one time? Um, I can link my planner lineup video for 2019 down below but I'll kind of tell you what they are. I use my mini happy planner as I said um, on the go so I put my like to buy lists and just idea lists and stuff like that and basic calendar information in there um, and any notes because sometimes I like listen to podcasts and stuff at work so I take notes on that so I have a note section in there um, and I have a content planner I have a big happy planner that's kind of like my weekly overall planner and I have a folio planner and I have a folio planner from May Designs for Blue Skies I got at Target that I love, love. That's kind of my getting things done planner. So I think that's everything I use. And, I, and I've got power sheets. It's kind of like a, not a real planner, but it's like my, my goals. I start with that and um, work from there and work from there, you know, to my planners with my goals. Um, let's see, what is your planning routine? I've tried to plan on Sundays because I think most people plan on Sundays, but since I work full time, I actually work a lot on Saturday and Sunday, like on my YouTube channel and stuff. So I found that actually Monday afternoons work really well for me, and I pretty much like quiet. Um, I usually have, you know, goats and dogs and stuff in the background that's enough noise for me but I don't like to have a lot of music and stuff while I'm thinking now if I was doing something creative that that would be a little bit different but while I'm thinking and trying to figure out what I want to do I could like quiet let's see what snacks do you eat during planning I'm not a big snacker I have been in the past but I have broke myself from the habit but let me show you my favorite snack this is a go raw super raw chocolate it's like 32 calories yeah 32 calories you can have a piece or two of this and it's not like crazy so I'll have one or two of those a day and that's that's about the extent of my snacking um, when did you start planning or in, get introduced to the planner community let's see um, I probably started planning during high school I always had like an academic planner through high school and college and I carried that on when I started working. Um, I had an old Franklin Covey <laughs> uh, planner that sat on my desk at work for you know several years. Um, then I stayed home with my kids for a little bit and I kind of got out of the planning. Let's see, I'm trying to think. I remember, um, I can't remember what year it was, but like when Erin Condren first started getting popular, yeah, I really wanted Erin Condren, and uh, that's probably a little bit before Happy Planners came out. So I don't know what year that is. If y'all do know what year that is, like, hit it in the comments down below and, and let me know, because I don't remember. But um, for, for many years, <laughs> for many years. Let's see. Um, a life before planning, productive or nah? I've always had periods of productivity and periods of procrastination. When I use my planners with intention, I'm very productive. Let's see. What is your, I didn't answer that question correctly. It says life before planning. 
well, I guess I kind of did because I've planned for most of my life. So, okay, we're going to go with that. Um, what is your layout preference? I prefer a vertical layout. Um, it kind of depends on what I'm doing, but vertical is my preference. Of course, the, the yeah, May Designs for Blue Skies folio I have is not. It's uh, basically a week on two pages with like a to-do list and stuff. Let's see. Do you prefer sticker kits or to create my own spread? I haven't truthfully ever bought sticker kits. Um, I, I don't know why. Maybe because I already have so many stickers of my own that I feel guilty buying more stickers. <laughs> but I like the little dollar sticker books from Michaels. Those are kind of my speed. <laughs> I just like to find stickers when I'm out. Usually when I'm on vacation or going somewhere new, I always try to find stickers that kind of remind me of that trip or location or whatever kind of tag into a memory. Let's see. Do you prefer spiral disc or journal style planners? That's a hard one. I actually prefer spiral planners in most cases for like everyday things because I can flap them and uh, flap them. <laughs> I can flip them over and lay them flat and that works much better on my desk. I guess I can do that with the disc planners too. But um, I, I like like five by seven spiral bound skinny. I'm real comfortable with that. And that's that's what I'm actually using for my content planner. But I do like the happy planner, like the disc bound, so I can add stuff to them. And I like to have the disc bound when I'm like in notebooks and stuff like that that I know I'm going to add stuff to. What is my favorite planner supply? I like the Sharpie pen. And I like the RSVP pen. I guess that's more than one, but pens, I guess, is my favorite supply. Followed closely by stickers and washi. Um, what is my favorite area to plan? I like to make kind of big plans. I'm really good at making big plans. Not so good on execution sometimes. Um, but this year, and I guess towards the end of last year, I'm really enjoying planning my content. That's not one of the things listed, but that's that's what I'm enjoying planning. Any funny planner stories? I have a very funny planner story that made me cry. <laughs> it's funny now. Okay, so I told you I really wanted an Erin Gondren planner when they first started getting really popular. So I saved up my money for my birthday present and I ordered an Erin Gondren planner. It was the one with the like butterfly on the front design. So I open it up, open up the box, open up the planner, and I'm so disappointed. Okay, if you guys don't know this about me, I am so directionally challenged, it's not even funny. I accidentally ordered a horizontal instead of the vertical planners. Yeah, I ordered the wrong one. I was devastated. It was bad. I ended up using it and liking it, but, you know, the whole time I looked at it, I'm thinking, you know, I ordered the wrong one. Let's see. Wild card questions. What is your favorite planner tool? Um, I'm really liking the Happy Planner Punch. I can punch out little scrapbook paper squares and glue in my planner. I'm liking that. What is your planner goal? My planner goal is to get stuff done. And that's, I think, the goal with any planner. Um, but to, to meet my goals for the year, to use them as a tool so I can get things done in my life that I want to get done. Help me keep on track. And tag a few planner babes. All right. Um, let's see. I'm going to tag Deidre with Paper Crafts and Planners. And I'm going to tag Stephanie with Autism Mom Plans. If I think of anybody else, I'll tag them down in the comments below. But those are the two off the top of my head that uh, I can think of. And I just want to thank Johanna again for tagging me and thank Crystal and Southern Tea Time for hosting this tag. Anyway, I hope you have learned a little bit more about me and I thank you for taking the time to watch my video and I will see you next video. Bye.